What you know to be normal is gone. And life as you know it is about to get so good it'll be like a dream. Say it the Lord. Folks, by the end of 2022, did your life get so good that it was like it was a dream? I didn't think so. All right, folks, thank you for stopping by the Alabama Woodsman. If this is your first time here, I hope you can get something from my video that you can use. Um, and if you, are, if you are a return viewer, thank you so much for coming back. You're obviously a glutton for punishment. All right, folks, this is video number two, the last one. There's some, some pretty interesting prophecy in this video. Uh, but before we do that, um, if you would take a look at my friends here, they will teach you, uh, they will expose the false prophets and false teachers and witnesses and doctrine in their own way. They do a good job. And if you do stop by and see them, be sure to tell them the Alabama Woodsman sent you. Um, I always appreciate when people do that. Um, folks, uh, one other thing. I had a, a, a commenter say that they were trying to talk to their mother about Julie Green. And I said that I would post this slide right here. Put it on pause. Get a screenshot. This is just a few of the prophecies that did not come true. I think Drew Bloom says he's up to an 82 count. And I bet you he's missed a bunch. So in addition to video one and to video two, you can use this slide to help show that Julie Green is not a prophet. All right, folks, this is Julie Green. Where, where's the music? Where's the theme music? No theme music? They said it was too controversial. They don't think I'm a Christian anymore because I did that, that theme music for Julie. <sighs> Whatever, here's a video. I promise you, my son, I will not fail you, and I will not fail this nation see folks these false prophets and people that follow them think that america is first of all great we're god's nation even though i think it's official we turn out the most adult type entertainment if you know what i'm trying to say than any other nation we probably consume the most illegal drugs than any other nation folks we have the richest people in the world and we have the most deviant people in the world we are so blessed that it hurts us and these people want to tell you god is not going to give up on this nation even though it's obvious that he judged this nation when we took prayer out of school, when we kicked God out of government, we were judged way back in the 60s. It's just now starting to make people feel uncomfortable that we've been judged. You think all this stuff is happening just because? We've been given over to the evil we wanted back in the 60s. Folks, it's going to get worse. But these people will tell you everything's great. Everything's great. It's just like the prophets that Jeremiah had to deal with. Oh, no, everything's great. Don't believe these naysayers. And the whole time God is saying, I've already turned you over. You need to get ready. Folks, I'm telling you, we've been judged. You need to prepare yourself for what's coming because it's not going to be pretty. When, when God exiled the Jews, he didn't protect the good Jews. No, they were all exiled. They were all taken in slavery. They were all subject to the whip and heavy bondage. Not just the bad ones, all of them. So for you to think that because you're a Christian, you're not going to suffer what's coming is delusional. And when it happens to you, 
and you realize all these prophets lied to you, don't blame yourself. You blame the lying false prophets. And don't have a crisis of faith because that's when you're going to need your faith the very most. And I will not fail this nation. So folks, when I went to Minneapolis to uh, Bullhorn, Jesse Duplantis and Johnny Slick Kuhneman and Lance Walno and the other whoever they were. I don't even know those people. Um, I, I stayed with Drew and, and we were able to talk about the Lord and the things that we um, believed and thought and, and could see and, and all that kind of stuff. And he said something that I had never really thought about. And it's this. The reason why these false prophets are so, so viciously in favor of a great America in the end days is because they don't want to give up their millions of dollars. And that is as simple as that. The Internet says she's worth $7.5 million. And when the American dollar goes to zero, she's going to be as broke as you are. And she doesn't want to give that up. So it influences her prophecies to say, God's not going to get rid of this nation because she'll have to give up $7.5 million and start over. And she doesn't like that. Neither does Dixon. Neither does Bullock. Neither does Christmas or Kuhneman or any of them. Amanda Carboni. They don't want to give up their millions and their kingdoms. So they try to convince you and to, to keep giving them money for the wealth transfer. And they try to convince themselves that God will not do this to them. And that shows the level of their delusion. Now, because they see themselves as gods and they're going to tell God how to do it. What they're trying to prophesy into existence is another Donald Trump presidency because the economy was good when Donald was here. And millionaires make more millions when there's a good economy. Folks, that's also the reason why they want Donald Trump in office so bad. They are willing to ignore stuff like this. But it's political bull****. She said he's a they're ripping the shit out of the sea. We can't get a school built in Brooklyn. You're not going to raise that price, you understand? I'm going to bomb the shit out of them. Listen, you mother we're going to tax you 25%. Now, I would think some of that was before he became president. Uh, but this wasn't. This was recent. That's what they really, that has to stop. What they've done is they've gone after opponents so that if you become president or some other job but if you become president and you don't like somebody or if somebody's beating you by 10 15 or 20 points like we're doing with crooked joe biden let's indict the mother today. folks why did i show you both of those one was obviously probably most all of it before he became president and this after he's he's been caught with the language more than once after being sworn in as president. I wanted to show you the lack of a change in his life. Which makes me have to question, did he really have a conversion to the Lord? I just have to ask myself that. I don't know. It's between him and God. I know there's people, the the language thing, you know, you could say it, it is wrong, it isn't wrong, whatever. We're not debating that. I'm telling you, this man appears to be the same man he was before because he's loose with his language and he's trying to be a leader of our people and our government. And there are some things you just don't do. Even though you can, you don't. And if you watch one of my previous videos, I think it was titled something like Donald Trump might have just given his opponent the presidency. You will see that his stance on abortion 
is no longer it shouldn't happen. His new stance is, hey, Christians, you need to negotiate just when it's going to happen because it's going to happen. He is no longer anti-abortion. He may be personally, but where it counts, which is legislatively, he is pro-choice. He is pro-abortion because he told every Christian in that interview, you better get used to negotiating when it's going to happen, not if it's going to happen. That's his new stance. Watch my video if you don't believe me. These people love Trump so much because he is going to make them rich that they will not even look at stuff or care about stuff like I just showed you. Folks, by the end of 2022, this is what God said was going to happen to Donald Trump. I love you beyond what you could have imagined. Everything stolen, everything lost, you are about to get back in multiplication. By the end of 2022, God told Donald he was going to get back everything that had been that he had lost or that had been stolen from him in levels of multiplication. Folks, did that happen? Because I don't see it happening. I don't see that it had happened. The things that was stolen from Donald through liberal shenanigans or was taken from Donald through the lies that we know happened. Uh, folks, I don't see restoration in multiples given to Donald Trump. In fact, I see more indictments. I see more court. I see more expense to defend himself. That's what we see, which makes Julie Green a liar. My son, beyond your wildest dreams, I will restore and give back more. I will shield your family and no one will touch them. I have my angel army surrounding you and your family in this time. Yeah, folks, um, like I said, August 13th, May 9th, uh, he was found guilty of sexual harassment or defamation or something. And on August 13th, um, he was charged with interfering with the 20, uh, 2020 election. Does that sound like what she's talking about? No, it doesn't. She's saying God loves Donald and he's not going to let anything happen to Donald. And he's going to prosper Donald. He's going to give it all back. He's going to protect Donald and his family. Yet we have a indictment and conviction and we have an indictment which he's now on trial for election interference. No, Julie Green, you're a liar. So go and do what I've called you to do and I will be with you, my son. Thank you for your sacrifice and thank you for your obedience. Thank you for not backing down and thank you for trusting me in spite, despite what you have seen and what your enemies have tried to do to break you. Folks, this woman just told you God thanked Donald a couple of times. Thank you. Thank you. First of all, folks, you need to look up the history of the words, thank you. God would not be telling anyone thank you. He is the one we say thank you to. He doesn't say it to us. It's nowhere in the Bible. Um, if I understood what I read properly, um, thank you didn't pop up till the 14th century. The word thank, T-H-A-N-C, means gratitude. That word was in place since English, they go all the way back to when English started. But the term thank you means gratitude towards you didn't happen to the 14th century. But God, because he's now a modern God... They've made him modern and common. They have brought man up to God level and God down to man level. They now see eye to eye, contradictory to the written word of God. God tells Donald, thank you. Thank you. It's blasphemy. Folks, by the end of 2022, this is what God is going to do for Donald. I will break them and all their plans. This is that time. I will give you peace and rest like you have never known. By the end of 2022, God was supposed to break 
Donald's enemies um, thwarting their plans against Donald. Folks, uh, by the end of 2022, that didn't happen. That's not happened today. He has got more indictments coming down the pike. He's got more court. He has not had a moment's rest since the uh, 2020 election year started. He's really not had any rest since he became president or even before. But we're talking about 2022. He's not gotten rest since between July 25th and the end of 2022. This prophecy failed miserably, which makes Julie Green a liar. All right, so she finished prophesying over Donald, which I hope he didn't hear a single word of it. Because then he wouldn't be disappointed and he wouldn't look badly upon prophecy and the Bible and God and all that stuff. See, folks, the Bible is clear. These false prophets, when they do this garbage, they strengthen the hand of the evildoers so that none will change from their wickedness. I think that's Jeremiah twenty three fourteen, if I'm not mistaken. Folks, these false prophets are doing damage. They need to be opposed. So she's done with Donald, and she goes back to talking to America. And she says, by the end of 2022, this is going to happen. My children, your enemies are about to become scatterbrained. Yes, that is what I said. See, folks, we, we know she's not hearing from God because none of this has come to pass. Okay, This was a prophecy out of her own vain imagination and her own deceitful heart. The motivation was probably Benjamin's. Um, but whenever they do what she just did, um, yes, I said that. When, when she said, uh, children, your enemies are going to be scattered brained. Yes, I said that. Folks, that is, that is something that happens when even she knows what she said is so stupid that the Lord would never say that. She has to reiterate and get your trust back to her saying, ah, yes, I'm the Lord. I really said that. We hear that with um, Kent Christmas, I think is the only other one I've heard saying. I'm sure a lot of them have always said that. But Kent Christmas is great about doing that. And you'll ask me why. No, 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 no. no. That's just a way of saying, hey, I just said the dumbest thing you can imagine. But i got to reel you back in because I need you to believe me for the rest of this prophecy. So I'm going to say God said, yeah, that's what I really said. Folks, this is ridiculous. The more you are aligning with me and my words, your enemies will scatter. They'll become more confused. These are the days of their confusion. These are the days you will see them fall in ways not known to mankind like this. All right, folks, this is more false prophet speak. Um, your enemies, the enemies of Christians by the end of 2022 now, are going to fall in ways that man has never known, has not known. Well, there's nothing new under the sun. We know that. So these people are going to fall in ways that have never happened before. Folks, that's not a word from God. That is words from Julie Green. The pop. You are to get you to get excited about her prophecy. Yes, the Christians are going to win one. We're going to get a W. Even though the Bible says you will not get a W, you'll be persecuted. Anyone who accepts Christianity should ex should be ready and prepared to accept persecution. Not the good time candy coated gospel everybody here is preaching because. They all have money riding on you believing it and being happy because we know when Americans are happy, they give money to whatever makes them happy. Folks, that's why they tickle your ears. That's exactly why they tickle your ears. So you will send your money, and it happens all the time. Drew Bloom watched a uh, Amanda Carboni uh, video one time, and in the chat room you can donate money. And as she's talking, she's just reading out her auto-written word from God. 
people are donating, popping in money. I think he said it was close to like $900 in just a few minutes because they liked what she said and Americans threw money at it. And they count on that. My nation of the United States, it's coming. A takeover, a take back, and a restoration and celebrations like never before. By the end of 2022, God said there would be a take back and celebrations like never before. Folks, I'm sorry, but I did not see a take back and celebrations like never before. I didn't see that. Did you see that by the end of 2022? Did it happen to all Christendom like she's prophesying? No, it didn't, which makes her a liar. I told you there will be another inauguration. It is special, and you will see why. Folks, remember, she said this about three or four months before the 2022 midterms. She was buying the hype in the news. She believed it. It influenced her prophecy, and that's why she said that. She was one of the ones prophesying Trump would, would be reelected in 2020, and it didn't happen. Now, all of a sudden, I told you there was going to be a new, a new inauguration. Yeah, you also told us that Trump was going to be the president, and that didn't happen, and this didn't happen. Oh, United States, the walls against you are gone. The people holding you hostage are themselves being held back. They can't do what they wanted to do next. Now, folks, I keep telling you what she does is not prophecy. It's Sue saying it's a show. It's an act. It's a routine. Folks, God does not speak in prophecies that cannot be verified. See, he just told you, he just told you, that uh, the plans that these evil people had, they're not going to be able to do. How do you know any of that? Folks, you can't prove it. You can't disprove it. That means it's not a prophecy. All right, folks, let me show you how this works. Okay. First, I have to look like it's painful. Thus saith the Lord your God. I'm going to prevent... A plane. I see a plane. I'm going to prevent a plane from from falling out of the sky and, and, and killing thousands of my people. I'm going to prevent this from happening because, because I am a gracious God and I'm full of mercy and grace. Thus saith the Lord of hosts. Folks, you can't verify any of that was really going to happen. So do not fear this time. I will bring miracles, my signs, my wonders during this time. Even though God says that an evil and adulterous generation seeks after a sign, he's going to bring them. He's going to bring them because he wants, God wants to take you away from faith and bring you into signs and wonders, what you can see, sense, taste, hear, smell. He wants to bring you into that realm and take you out of faith, which he said, unless you have it, you can't please him. You see the contradiction here. Folks, it's all about signs and wonders with the NAR church. And Jesus was very clear. When, you, when you're seeking a sign and wonder... You're going to get one. It's probably not going to be from God, but it's probably payment because you're wicked and adulterous. You're the generation that stepped out of faith in God, and you wanted to be able to touch it and experience it. This is a time of restoration, healing, and refreshing from the effects of the enemy and the damage they have caused against you. Folks, did all Christians experience restoration and healing before the end of 2022? Yeah, I didn't think so. Which makes her a liar. All right, folks, remember, this was supposed to happen before the end of 2022. She's saying this before the midterm election. She thinks a red wave is coming because it was prophesied and it's been all over the news. And she says this. My children, the changing of the guard is about to take place. Get ready for this change. Get ready for the transfer of wealth out of the hands of the wicked. I am 
giving it to you where it has belonged all along. But I will give it to the ones that I can trust with it and to use to bless the world. Folks, there is absolutely no way that a wealth transfer is biblical. Let me tell you what the wealth transfer is. These prophets are predicting doom and gloom everywhere. They're, they're telling you there's a fall coming into America. The dollar's going to crash, and that is true. But folks, in order to get you to keep giving them your money, they tell you you're going to get a wealth transfer. See, when you know bad times are coming, you won't donate to them because you got to hold your money. You have got to make sure you can ride out the disaster with your money. So you're not going to give it up. So what I got to do is to get you to get confidence in them. And they say, oh, don't stop donating to my ministry because God's going to give you a wealth transfer. And this is the cool part. It, it's the money that all belongs to the sinners are now going to go to the saints. Folks, if that ever happens, what are you supposed to do to the sinner? You're supposed to feed them and clothe them and house them and take care of them, which means the money is going to outflow right to them. And then they say, well, this is to make sure that the, the, the God's gospel reaches the world. Well, God's gospel's already been around the world. And now the new twist is this, and I've heard this from Robin Bullock, who, by the way, if you're not tithing, you're not going to get the wealth transfer. So you have to buy shares into the wealth transfer with your tithe. Okay. Uh, his wife said it was something like the rights of the tither to get the wealth transfer. Same thing with Krista. If you don't tithe, you're not going to get the wealth transfer. These people are now saying... Well, the money is going to go only to the people God knows is going to use it properly, which means you're not going to get it and you can't verify any of it did or didn't happen. Folks, that's the sign of a false prophecy and a false prophet. And let us never forget the wealth transfer she's talking about was supposed to have happened in 2022 by the end of 2022. And it didn't. What you know to be normal is gone. And life as you know it is about to get so good it will be like a dream. Say it the Lord. Folks, by the end of 2022, did your life get so good that it was like it was a dream? I didn't think so. See, that's nowhere in the Bible. Absolutely nowhere do we see that things are going to be so good for the Christians in the end time. In the end time, it's going to be wonderful for the Christians. That's what these people want to tell you is coming. Remember what I told you about when Americans are happy, what they do with their money? She wants you to throw money at her. The House of Representatives is about to be in the news. A great lie is about to be exposed. The truth is being told, and everyone against me will lose their seat. Folks, that woman just told you. In the House of Representatives, everyone who is against God would lose their seat. Did Nadler lose his seat? Did Schiff lose his seat? Did Pelosi lose her seat as a senator or as a, as a House of Representative? congresswoman she lost it eventually as the uh the speaker but did she lose her political seat folks these these people didn't lose their seats she lied it's that simple all right folks by the end of 2022 this is what the lord says is going to happen he says it through this woman by the end of 2022. President Zelensky is about to fall. Oh yes, he's about to walk away from his powerful position. He can no longer keep it because I am removing him myself, saith the Lord. Folks, in case you haven't seen the news lately, the Ukrainian President Zelensky is still the president. He has not walked away from Jack. 
he is making billions hand over fist from the United States in this war. But he definitely did not walk away from power. And Julie definitely lied to you in the name of Jesus. You see, folks, what this woman thought and prophesied and tried to prophesy into existence is a big red wave was supposed to take Congress. The big red wave. Man, it was supposed to win. We were supposed to win by a landslide. And when that would have happened, we would have cut off funding for the Ukraine and then Zelensky in my opinion would say hmm there's no more money to stuff my bank account with I'm just gonna go retire on an island somewhere in exile and uh, I'll just leave all this mess that's been created um, my money making factory has come to an end I'm out and that's why she thought Zelensky was going to step down. She saw the writing on the wall and she decided to prophesy it to build faith in her, the prophet. And so she said, Zelensky's gone, except there was no red wave. We're still pumping money to Zelensky. And he's laughing all the way to the bank. If you don't think the man is not making money off of this, you do not know how uh, politicians work. All right, folks. So this is the last topic we're going to talk about. Um, now, remember, all these prophecies were to happen before the year 2022 ended. So listen to what this woman, this viper, tells you is going to happen by the end of 2022. All eyes are about to be on Pennsylvania. A major eruption is about to take place. A liar has been caught red-handed and is about to shake that state. Pennsylvania, do not fear, I am here, and your enemies will no longer hold your state hostage from the freedom and I have intended to take place in your state. A turnaround, is, a, turnaround, a turnaround is about to take place, and you don't have to wait until the midterms, saith the Lord. There is about to be a turnaround. Before the end of the year 2022, there's about to be a turnaround in Pennsylvania, and you don't have to worry about it. God is coming to you. He is going to champion you in Pennsylvania before the year 2022 ends according to this woman who claims to be a prophet in fact she said you won't even have to wait for the midterms folks do you know what happened in pennsylvania in 2022 this absolute dumpster fire happened this is what happened in Pennsylvania in 2022, and this is what Julie Green told you was coming in 2022, but she says it was going to be a wonderful turnaround. God was going to champion you, and then Fetterman happened. Folks, you can't get worse prophecy than that. All right, folks. Um... Listen, here at the, uh, the Alabama Woodsman, um, we use mockery, uh, we use comedy, um, we use satire, we poke fun at these lying false prophets, in part to show you that you shouldn't fear them. You don't fear, the Bible even says, you don't fear the false prophet, okay? She is in no way a real prophet. I would not speak one syllable against a true prophet. I'm not stupid, but this woman is not a true prophet. However, she is someone who needs prayer, and we do that here now at the Alabama Woodsman at, our vid at the end of our videos. <clears throat> so we are going to pray for her. Lord, thank you for this day. Thank you for all that you do for us, Lord. The blessings you give us that we don't deserve. And Lord, how you hold back, how you hold back the judgment and penalties that we have earned and that we do deserve. 
Father, I come to you and I ask you right now in the name of Jesus, send your Holy Spirit to Julie Green, her family, her staff, all her listeners. Convict them of the evil that's being said through her mouth, Lord. Convict her. Send your spirit just one more time, Lord. Try one more time with your spirit to woo her back into sound doctrine. First for your glory, Lord, and then for her benefit. And Father, I ask this in the name of Jesus. Folks, that's the end of the video. I hope to see you again on the Alabama Woodsman. (laughs) 